Juicy. Oh, yeah. Juicy. This one is great because the hypocrisy. And then, hey, guys, uh, let the Democratic Party know. I've been told that they really care about Russian interference. Let's see if that uh, maintains itself in this. <laughs> so Democratic presidential candidate and former South Bend, Indiana mayor Pete Buttigieg is facing questions after recent relevations that his 2020 effort has taken that he has taken campaign contributions from an infamous Republican Party billionaire with Direct links to the Russian oligarchy. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. As of this writing, they have donated thousands of dollars to Pete for America, Inc., Pete Buttigieg's official campaign organization. Guys, we have Russians in the American elections. Why is no one calling this out? Anyway, <laughs> citing public uh, data available via FEC and uh, from campaign finance data, Clearinghouse Open Secrets, May notes that most of uh, Blavenix, that's the person uh, we're talking about, largest, was um, distributed among Republicans during the 2015-2016. So it's even worse. He's a Republican funding Russian oh. who is also Ukrainian. Thickens. Yes, yes. And he has ties to Vladimir Putin He probably himself. has a lot of ties because he's very rich. <laughs> probably has a lot of Russian ties. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, little little well, Russian. Anyway. The best silk. Yeah. <laughs> enough enough <laughs> about Pete. Let's keep going. Uh, so he's accounted for uh, $6.35 billion of their spending, and that was to the Republicans in 2015 to 16. Uh, he has largely been considered problematic by the media and the Beltway establishment because of his documented ties to Vladimir Putin and the Russian leader's inner circle. Something that I thought Rachel Maddow, as they're going to go in, has talked to, and she has. MSNBC's Rachel Maddow, the Russia, you know, I guess if you do a Russia story every day for your, or an entire year, you're going to bring this guy up. I guess, you know, he got like a cake or something. Uh, long and loudly beat the anti uh, Blavnik uh, drum and played up his uh, oligarch connections while he was mainly known for donating to Republicans. I'm sure that that maintained itself when he started dona donating to Democrats. I'm mm -hmm. sure, for mm -hmm. sure. And I, mean, I don't watch Rachel Maddow, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Maybe. Uh, and ramped up criticism amongst a uh, controversy that saw um, Debers, his network uh, delisted from the U.S. and sanctions uh, against the Russian Federation. Uh, Buttigieg's support from the family so far runs in excess of $5,000, which is the maximum. So there's money elsewhere, but the legal amount that they can put in is 5000 <laughs> And since making the donations to the Buttigieg campaign, they have attempted to, quote, influence and purchase uh, with... Uh, purchase the uh, Democratic uh, Congressional Campaign Committee as well, giving them over $400,000. Ah, huh, the DCCC. What do you know? Taking $400,000 from the Russians. Huh. All while hedging their bets and keeping up similarly downsized uh, donations to the GOP. So it's as if they're gi he's giving, the this Russian, he's giving a lot of money to the Democrats and Republicans so that whoever wins, he's on the ends with. And Pete Buttigieg is happy to... Uh, Get that money to them. So, guys, what do you think? Should we freak out? I mean, if I if MSNBC has taught me anything, anyone even tangentially tied, I mean, let's think. Tulsi Gabbard was like, you know, like in a country like next to Russia, and that was really bad because Putin's in that country next door. So, you know, she's a Russian asset. So, I'm sure that I'm Bernie Rachel Maddow Sanders has been to Russia. <gasps> he has. I don't know if you guys heard about. Oh that, my God! He, yeah, he drank the vodka in Russia too. I've heard. He's been to <laughs> Russia. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now my thing is, I mean, those are terrible things. I mean, I'm an MSNBC has made that very clear. So, I mean. Rachel Maddow must be going day and night talking about Pete Buttigieg and this money he's getting from Russian and billionaires. And, 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 and New York Times is calling Pete Buttigieg oh, a yeah. Russian asset. Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, you guys hear this every day, don't you? Don't well, you? So I haven't heard anything like it, actually. <laughs> uh, so that's the one, the one angle that you can go is like, ah, so I guess uh, Pete Buttigieg is... Uh, uh, but the, I think the other angle, I think, is, is even the better angle, is basically like, this is how you know that they're full of shit, yeah. right? This is how you know that it's completely vac vacuous and vapid because they don't care. They don't care at all they don't about actually foreign care. government yeah. nope. interfering, Not oppo research that came from a foreign government, even a Russian government. They don't care about any of it. What they care <laughs> about is an excuse to be mad at Trump that isn't an actual thing, right, that they actually agree with. 
Well, right? and then it also speaks to is like, oh, okay, so we're gonna impeach Trump on this like Ukraine thing, right? Right. We can't get mad about regular corruption because mm. we're guilty of that also. Right. Well, and especially like, it's 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 all it's all a shit show because it's like, okay, we're not gonna do anything about campaign finance because. We're fucking doing the campaign, you know, finance uh, illegalities. We're not gonna, we're not going to actually impeach him on any of these other, any of these extremely impeachable offenses because, oh shit, we're doing that too. And so, and this, this paints that picture beautifully. Um, and it that the, the picture of the bias, right? Uh, also for the establishment in our media is going to be painted very, very clearly for us when we find that I would assume Rachel Maddow does not start attacking Pete Buttigieg. I would love to see like Simone Sanders go on NBC and go, hey, why aren't you guys covering up Pete taking money from Russians? Seems to be your thing. And then we'll just watch for like the next three or four days how MSC is like, oh, no, no, it's fine if he takes the money from, he's followed these steps. He filled up, look, he filled up this form I'm holding in my Can, hand. I could just imagine Rachel Maddow being like, I know it looks bad that uh, Pete Buttigieg was taking money from the Russians, but these are the good Russians. Let me explain why these Russians are good Russians. And the Internet Research Agency or some other thing is definitely Kremlin linked and definitely the Steele dossier is is, is all proof of, of Russians you know, the Russian connection with, with Trump, notwithstanding the fact that Democrats paid for that opera research from a British spy who got that from his buddy <laughs> who was a Russian KGB agent. Let's not talk about any of that. These are the good Russians that support Pete, everybody. And here's that's gonna that would be the play. Yeah. These are the good Russians. They aren't oligarchs. The other ones are oligarchs. Yeah. And here's the real big yeah, Who's an kicker. oligarch? Bloomberg. Yeah. He's an oligarch. If we're going to well, according to MSNBC, Bernie's an oligarch too because he has is he in the top one percent anyway. Uh, because he's made he one wrote a popular million book. dollars. <laughs> oh, that guy sold a book. <laughs> oligarch, oligarch, all the way. The pinky yeah, for yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah. So here's the, here's what they really mean. Let's be real. Let's really define to Paul's point, to Kira's point, what this is really saying. It's okay to take money from Russians if you're on our side. If you're not on our side, well, you're a traitor. That's the, that's it. That's the rule book. You're a that's pinko that, commie. That's the real rule. Puppet then, president. And, the, and then everything else is just connect line A to line B. Work backwards. We don't like him. Therefore, he's working for Russia. That's all it is. Just a facade. Just a package put together nicely by a bunch of news companies that no one likes and no one believes except the few people that do. And every day, they shave off a number of their loyal followers. They tell people uh, 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 Joe Rogan is a terrible extremist who hates all these different groups that he doesn't. Well, a lot of people on the right, a lot of people on the left, a lot of people in the center, real big fan of Joe Rogan, especially since he gets more people, has more viewers than any of their individual networks. So you shave off a few thousand people there. Right. You shave yeah. off. They're not. It's not like they're getting new people. It's not like their ages are low. Their ages are consistently in the mid sixties in every, uh, in everything across the board. So they're the people that watch mainstream media. The problem that mainstream media has is they're rapidly dying. Their audience is dying every day or running away because they don't trust them. Meanwhile, every age group is flocking to the U.S., especially the younger age groups, and they grew up there. The and they will save up. us. And so, Dude, we'll yeah, along with yeah the please save us, guys. No, but <laughs> so, but that's where we're at. That's where we're at. We're at the news, and on top of all this, the news is collapsing, and they see their collapse, and they're right. clawing. And again, this goes back to that first part when we were talking earlier. All the things that they used to do to get them out of trouble are now backfiring on them when they use them. So it used to be again. What is the news media really good at doing? taking out people with no power. What they tried to do with Jenk Uger when he, as he's running, they tried to say, oh, he's a sexist. Everyone lock the doors. That's it. That's it. The entire thing. And now if you're a regular candidate that's just running in a local area, that's it. That will do you in. That will. But if you are uh, Jenk Uger and you have the Young Turks backing you, no one's going to believe it. You have years and years and years and years of work backing you. You have endorsements backing you. It's not going to work. And what does it do? <laughs> it makes them, every time it backfires, they lose support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get there. 
Yeah, that's the P- real pizza Russian yeah. oligarch. Yeah. Pizza, pizza that, Russian oligarch. That, that's not, that's not news. It pizza <laughs> Russian oligarch. That's forget that. Everyone hashtag Pete is a Russian oligarch. Spread it everywhere. And now all we're gonna do until November is talk about how Pete is a, a yes. Russian oligarch. Yes, Pete's Rus- really a Ruski. When he loses the primary, yeah. we'll continue yes. talking Ruski about Pete, it. Ruski Pete, everyone. Everyone, here's what we're gonna Ruski do. Pete. Go on Twitter. Get us the best. Make the best, most viral hashtag. Let's let everyone know. Pete is a Russian I want the, asset. I want the meme squad on this. I want. Yeah. I want. I want a uh, like yeah. One Discord. Of those get on this. Hats with the red star on it. Yeah. I want. Yeah. But, the, but the like Siberian with Siberian with, with look. money, like money coming out of it everywhere. And Yeltsin yeah. beer mugs. <laughs> <laughs> I like this imagery. I think yeah. it could be a good look for Pete. Guys, we believe in you. We got our meme squad. We got the Hard Lens Media meme squad. We got regular Twitter. We got our odd. Make this happen. Let's let everyone, let's make them, everyone think that Pete is a Russian oligarch. Let's <laughs> or at do least it. he's accepting money from Russia. Or, or he's, he's accepting, accepting money. money from Russia. Yeah, okay. happily accepting money. Get the best memes out there. I want everyone to not. They're incredible the, memes. They're, they're, they're the okay. best. The finest Rachel memes. Rachel Maddow's all over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sure she the is. The thing is, we're joking about this, but Rachel Maddow was actually serious yeah. for three years. Yeah. So all uh, I'm saying Russia's is, gonna, in this case, blah, 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 blah. let's let the mainstream media have their dues. Let's use the very logic that they have used for years against them. Doesn't matter if we believe it. That's not the point. We're just a we're just a rinky dink YouTube show. Let's give the mainstream now, media. Though. We got we got windows. Well, now, now we got a little better. We got a little. We're, we're more like Look at rinky all this dink. Production we're value. rinky dink plus now. So there you go. Let's give the mainstream media exactly what they've been asking for.